the World Cup finals. So the referee from Iran, it promises to be uh, an exciting affair, this one. Nigeria, Africa's most populous nation. They have a great reservoir of talent. Thumbs up for the referee then. And uh, this game for the right to go into the last four is underway. And the people of Qinghuangdao in for a treat, I imagine. Hefty clearance of the Nigerians, and he's already produced the first excitement of the day. Rasping shot that takes the ball over the crossbar from uh, Odenwingi. Peter Odenwingi introduced to the side. He didn't play in the last game. He's played in the senior side, having scored in a World Cup qualifier against Zimbabwe. And a very bright start to this match from Nigeria. These are the Super Eaglets, as opposed to the Super Eagles, of course, which is the nickname for the soup for the uh, senior side for Nigeria. Just listen to the noise. Well, you can hardly miss it, can you? Kalu, who played in the Champions League final for Chelsea against Manchester United. Bonaventure Kalu, of course. Uh, that's the uh, more famous. Kalu is uh, not playing in the uh, Olympic Games. Each side is allowed to bring with them three overage players. But the Ivory Coast uh, has restricted itself to uh, young men. In fact, uh, in this starting lineup, only Kalu and Seku Sise are 23 years of age, along with the defender Bamba and the goalkeeper Angban. But it's an Ivory Coast corner kick, which is well grabbed by Nigeria's goalkeeper, Ambrus Van Zekin. Cote d'Ivoire on the attack once more with uh, Emmanuel Corne. Corne plays for a club side in Romania. Clou. a lovely piercing ball through the heart of the Nigerian midfield and then the price spread by uh, Angua awkward bounce there for Bakayoko and the whistle goes because the Nigerian is uh, down on the deck that's uh, Efe Ambrose one of those who does still play in Nigeria with the uh, Kaduna, Kaduna United side just a collision with Koulibaly. Well, it's more like being to a music concert. Terrific noise. But the African fans love that. They love the drum beat. Suits the rhythm of their game. There is Cisse, one of the stars of Côte d'Ivoire, plays in Holland at Kakrade. He has two goals already from the matches against Serbia and Argentina. And I hope we get goals in this game. I hope it's an enthralling contest as Nigeria dig in through Sani Keita, who also plays in Holland at Sparta Rotterdam. Famous old club. And a rump down the left from Efe Ambrose. Oh, he's got uh, into the penalty area, and down he goes. There will be no penalty kick for Victor Obina this time. And uh, we have a Cote d'Ivoire player on the ground, so the referee will order another stoppage in play.
Jovino, the Brazilian-born, is the uh, player on the ground after that tangle with uh, Adelaide. The Brazilian elephant, they call him. Well, it's a vibrant start to the game in every respect. It's such a colourful occasion here in Qinghuangdao. The fans have really been looking forward to this African battle. And with Cote d'Ivoire attacking now. Oh, and another collision, a hefty one involving uh, Suleimani Bamba. He's up in Scotland these days with Dunfermline Athletic. And concedes this free kick for the uh, challenge on Chinadu Ogukio Basi. Straight through to uh, goalkeeper Angban. Wawa. What a great name, Serge Wawa. One of the newer names, Ajiluri there for Nigeria. Yes, another who plays in Holland, it's uh, Roningen. Well, we've had a number of uh, mild injuries so far. The latest is for Obasi. He's really taken out there, nearly wiped out by Koulibaly. It will be physical, I'm sure, this game. The prize is huge. Nigeria will always hold the honour of being the first African nation ever to win the Olympic gold back in Atlanta in 1996. But this is the Cote d'Ivoire's attack. Weaving for the shot. But the pass from Cissé gave Koulibaly rather a lot to do. He's done it quite well, mind you. Put forward by Okoronko. And uh, there might just be something on there. Just needed a toe-ender from Odenwingi. And the ball might have uh, beat Nangban in the Cote d'Ivoire goal. A good long pass. This one is clipped straight out by Wawa. Physical tussle as expected, free kick for Nigeria, awarded by the Iranian referee against Serge Wawa. One of those who still plays in the uh, Cote d'Ivoire with Asek Mimosas. Just three of the starters do, the goalkeeper being another one at the same club, and the third is uh, Bagayoko, who plays for Africa Sports. In there now for the header, which will be grabbed uh, rather theatrically by Angban and rather unnecessarily. I think it was going well wide. Obasi rising to Adefemi's free kick. But the ball actually came off his own man there, Angua. Oh, thunderous challenge. And Cote d'Ivoire move forward with Kalu. No, takes a hop off the shin of F. Ambrose, uh, affording Cote d'Ivoire the throw in. And the boot was a little bit high on that occasion from Emmanuel Corne. Two of this Ivory Coast side play in Romania with the same club, Kone there being one of them, and the other being uh, Usman Vieira Diaz. Right forehead of uh, Agiluri. Already the players calling for water, but this is an evening kickoff in China. It's uh, gone nine o'clock in the evening now. 
<laughs> so no problems with heat and humidity for this one. Earlier today, the two Bs, Belgium and Brazil, went through to the semi-finals. Belgium very much a shock. A victory over Italy, three goals to two. And Brazil, after extra time, overcoming Cameroon. But at least one African side has to go through. The winners of this one. And the chance is here for Nigeria. The shot was thumped in. And it is dealt with, although not totally effectively. There was a chance for uh, Obasi. to caress the ball, the Africans. And that's what Wu Wu does now, in directing it across to Bamba. taken that throw in and a shout for a handball here so the free kick will be for Cote d'Ivoire across to uh, Pierre Suba down the line a big tussle going on and a whistle inevitable yeah, against Sakusise. From Wawa. It's a good ball played by Wawa as well. And uh, Kalu here with a chance to apply pressure for Cote d'Ivoire. But he loses his way. Two uh, extremely enthusiastic sides, and the foul here by uh, Dier Asuba will afford a free kick for Nigeria. Where's Vieira on his shirt? He does look like Patrick, doesn't he? Knocked into the danger area and knocked away from the danger area as well. Either side with an early edge. But the Super Eaglets playing the ball around nicely now. It all turned into a very good pass there, having uh, trodden on the ball, Obasi. Here they come down the left. And a good run as well from Epe Ambrose. And the cross is dealt with uh, by Vieira which is what he wears on his shirt, so that's what we'll call him. Easy to say than Diara Suba as well. Nice spread of the play, but he can't keep this one in. Koulibaly from the attempted ball from Kone. There is Sia Sia, midfield player in his heyday. And if anything, the music's getting even louder. is back there, Odin Wingy. So the back heel was attempted, didn't quite come off to Victor Obina. He plays in Italy at Kievo, famous club. There's so much talent in Africa. And I thought it was great at the World Cup finals to see uh, Cote d'Ivoire playing so well. They had two tremendous matches, certainly one with Holland. D'Ivoire have an attack going here, but uh, no accuracy on the uh, forward pass. Storming forward there was uh, Bamba. Turning on this one now is Agilori. 
Loses out, however, with Javinho involved. Lovely back heel. Plenty of pace here from Nigeria, involving Obina, who wears Ensafor on his uh, shirt. Bit of cut and thrust in this game, obviously. Nigeria have looked very likely to create opportunities in the early minutes. So these are proud times for the Cote d'Ivoire making their World Cup debut two years ago and now their Olympics debut. And this one is hooked across all the way into the arms of Van Zekin. for both goalkeepers. <laughs> Number 11 for Nigeria, Solomon Okoronkwo, plays in Germany at uh, Hertha Berlin. So he plays a lot of top-level football. The free kick will be taken by Adefemi. He plays in Israel. Hapwell Benay led. And he's asking a lot of him here, but he's uh, made a willing run, Obasi. Claimed by the goalkeeper, Angban. Wawa Koulibaly lovely running here from Cote d'Ivoire brilliant running in fact and a corner conceded by Apam but terrific running from uh, Kapumba Koulibaly strongly built resourceful took on the defender and excellent defending as well from Onyekachi Apam On a Cote d'Ivoire, there's some big men in there. It's uh, Kalu, shout for handball, and then it's back across and out for another corner. Excitement in the Nigerian area. On your catchy there. Simple name is Apam. Kalu, one of those in there looking to meet the second corner for the Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire. work for Van Zekin who's conceded a couple of goals in the three games so far one against the United States one against Japan most of this Nigerian side played in the world under 17s team in uh, 2014 in previous FIFA tournaments and the uh, one three years ago in Holland as well that was the world under 20s Good attacking options here, but the concession of the ball will give Nigeria a chance to break. With Obasi's long ball taken on by Odenwingi. Still Odenwingi. And he's uh, played it forwards. He's still on side. He's not. Yep, good decision from the official there, Victor Obina. Sofo Good technique shown here by the Nigerians The race out was led by Okoronkwo the centre-back there, he's 
in Hungary these days in Budapest with the famous old Honved club. Again, they seem to hunt in pairs and there are two of the Ivory Coast side uh, playing in Hungary now. The other one being the substitute, Abraham Gigi. Uh, Giovino, he's in France at Le Mans. Better known for its 24 hour race than its football. Wow. 20 minutes gone, Nigeria nil. The Cote d'Ivoire nil. He's got to keep this in. Can he do that? No, I don't think he did. Just run out along the sidelines by uh, Bagayoko. So it's quick though, There's plenty of pace out there on the field. Ching Hang Dao has uh, seen quite a number of matches in men's and women's tournaments here. Who's going to make the breakthrough? Almost too many cooks there for the Cote d'Ivoire. It's Nigeria who emerge and Odumwingi. Well, it's a very ambitious effort there. Thumped it in against Bamba. Well, has that got out for a corner? No, it has not. Well played goalkeeper Angban. Nigeria really on the job at the moment. They're passing the ball smoothly. And creating an opening here for the shot which is wide. But good opening uh, created for Okoronkwo. Wow, wow, with a bit to say. Just to remind you, of course, that we are bound to get a result here. We get a verdict, whether it's after 90 minutes or 120, or penalties. It's the turn of Cote d'Ivoire to come now, with Wawa's pass. Good movement ahead, but he's not got the ball through this time. The attempt there by Cissé. Playing in the left fullback for position for Nigeria, Ambrose. Uh, was there a push there? There was not. Kalu goes on. He needs to pull this one across or go himself, but it's spun off him and out. I fancy for a goal kick as well. Salomon Kalu there, had he only been a bit more aware could have squared it and there uh, would have been a, an almost certain goal for Cote d'Ivoire. Salomon Kalou took the wrong option. Halfway through the opening half. 0-0 nil -nil the score. Far from goal though. Back again once more with Ambrose. Both sides attempt to play with quick thrusts. That was a nice touch, taking it into the path of Jovino, who's going on. He's got company as well in Cissé. The shot will be wide. But uh, an inkling there of the danger that is presented to Nigeria from both Jovino and uh, Seku Cissé. Flamboyant. Twenty-three seconds, C say. Oh, a mistake. It's allowed Nigeria in here. This is their chance. The ball is cut across by Obasi. He's got it back again, but they've only one other player up there, really, and that's going to go out harmlessly. Well, a mistake in the Cote d'Ivoire defence there allowed C say the chance.
Kalu. Well dispossessed, and then it's played back by Agilori. And you do get the feeling that this one could be decided by somebody making a critical error. We've seen one or two mistakes made already. They've not yet been punished. But there may come a time when uh, one error is punished. It's Nigeria who look to build here with Obasi again. And uh, just fails to keep it in play. Obasi who plays at Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim in Germany. Well, an opportunity to cross one in. Play four players across the centre. If the cross is decent, headed away by Bamba. I think uh, Samson Siasia, the Nigerian coach, will be rather pleased with what he's seen, apart from the finishing. No chances converted as yet in the match. But the game enthralling nonetheless. Adefemi with the throw in here. The uh, red and white ball in his hands. Very distinctive ball. Every tournament seems to get a new FIFA ball these days. That's a good ball. Here goes the man in the yellow boots, Victor Obina. Real hero against the United States, Obina. With the winner. Also scored against Japan. And Siasia getting his point across. And the Super Eaglets fans getting noisier. Just as Angban, the... Uh, Cote d'Ivoire goalkeeper is as well. Here is a shot. Wide with the post. Not by more than a couple of feet though. Angban scrambled, scrambled across to it. But the effort from Angelori went wide anyway. Well, he, uh, he got plenty on it. It's actually gone about four feet wide. Ebenezer Angelori. Nigeria do have an overage player in Peter Odenwingi, he's 27. The only one in the match. Cote d'Ivoire's turn to come and see if they can find an opening and exploit some space. There hasn't been much in this game and there'll be a free kick for the Nigerians. Taking the free kick is uh, the man with a long name on his shirt, on your catchy. Well, they're an exciting side. Really belly wide and high. And Cooley Bally's had an impact coming into the side today, midfield, left out of the last match I like the way the Nigeria goalkeeper has a little hop after he's kicked the ball and so everybody notices him and they've had a bit of a muddle there and it's uh, enabled Cote d'Ivoire to have an attack but they've got four back and the cross didn't have uh, sufficient quality to trouble the Nigerian defence. And as you can see, there's a Nigerian player on the uh, pitch lying face down, which is why it's now booted out. And very groggily, Effie Ambrose is restored to full health.
Only 19 F.E. Ambrose played in the World Under 20 Championships last year in Canada. Wow, wow, with the throwing. And the ball sportingly given back to their African opponents. An all-African occasion in the Olympic Games. One of them to go through to represent Africa in the semi-finals. They will be the only African nation in there, though. Brazil to represent South America. Belgium to represent Europe. And uh, Argentina and the Netherlands are playing for the right to be in the last four at the moment as well. So there could be two South Americans or there could be two European sides in there with one African nation. A solid bank of four midfielders there for the Nigerians who now attack through uh, Odenwingi. And they've got some momentum in this move. They've plenty forward here, Nigeria. Slips into the area. Needs a good back heel. It got it. This is a lovely move from the Super Eaglets. But again, it has no finish. And they're racing away here. Come Cote d'Ivoire. Well, it was a good breakout led by Emmanuel Corne. Required some solid work from uh, Delhi Adelaide in the heart of the Nigerian defence. Good stuff. Ajilori. An angled ball. It's uh, eagerly covered by the long striding defender. Mistakes continue to be made, but only because these players are so energetic and so exuberant. This will be a free kick. A foul on Cissé. It's a high standard game. And uh, Cote d'Ivoire looked to add to the high standard, but the cross was much too close to the goalkeeper. And Van Zekin hammers it downfield, but well dealt with. So, Wawa for Cote d'Ivoire. The crowd are getting it even more excited than animated to match the drumbeat. A second chance there for Corne. Not too many orange shirts forward. There may be now Angua. Gonna play some nice controlled football here, Cote d'Ivoire. Wawa. Didn't get it beyond the stretching defender there. Adefemi. Adefemi has been booked twice in this tournament, but uh, not suffered a suspension. Was cautioned in the matches against Japan and the Netherlands. through so Bamba well I'm not sure what he was intending to do there but he got it all wrong Suleimani Bamba whacking that one across the field and right out of play look at the crowd here it's a big one in uh, Ching Huangdao the men's competition exciting everybody in the Olympic Games as it certainly comes towards the boil the final of week today in Beijing 
in that wonderful uh, bird's nest stadium the national stadium now Sonny Cater, their number eight, doing the unspectacular work that's so necessary in the midfield for Nigeria. He's there again now to try and win the ball, but in fact it's Cote d'Ivoire. It'll be a bit too uh, long. side fractionally over hit so many options in uh, both those sides because the players are very versatile a number of them can play midfield or striker Well, he found himself facing the wrong way there, so it has to come back to goalkeeper Van Zekin from Aqua United. And a very good delivery from him. But a free kick for Cote d'Ivoire. Fouled by the captain, Obina. And I'll say he wears uh, an sophomore on his shirt. A Zulu name. Wawa for Ivory Coast. To give them their full title, Cote d'Ivoire, of course. Clever ball in for Kalu. Dispossessed. Expertly dispossessed, too. It was a difficult ball for him. He had to take it at pace. And a lack of control in the midfield there by Adjilori. And almost slithering straight into our camera, Solomon Okoronkwo. Who also played in the World Under-17 Championships in Finland a few years ago, and in the Under-20s in Holland. That was three years ago. Two very fine championships they were as well. I remember the one in Finland in particular, some wonderful matches uh, played there. Those are lovely towns of uh, Turku and Tampere. As well as Helsinki, of course, and uh, Lakti. Nigeria attacking here now, but uh, losing the possession. Cote d'Ivoire not really taking advantage, however, but the ball is pumped straight downfield into the hands of the goalkeeper, Van Zekin again. Back to the uh, centre back, Apam. Obina. Nicely slipped through to Obasi. This is a good move from Nigeria. Bottom wingy with the ball in. It's still in play, but hooked out our fancy now. That's gone out of play. Once again, a, a finale that didn't match the build-up. Bottom wingy, very useful though. Good player to have in your side. Good flick on from Cisse. That one's uh, high into the night. I think anybody fancies getting the head on that one. They're eventually turning on it is Keita. And then Obina and Safo. Nothing in the game with a little over five minutes remaining in the opening half. 
could be a 1 0 this. There's not much at all between these teams, but uh, Nigeria are awarded the free kick for the challenge on Obasi in a good position. A chance for the Super Eaglets here, and a yellow card is shown as well at the first of uh, this match. When we have a look at the incident again, we'll see whether it was worth the yellow card. Now Vieira has uh, used the elbow perhaps. I wouldn't have described it as a particularly reckless challenge, but it's yielded a free kick here for Nigeria, which is wasted. It's amazing how many free kicks you do see wasted these days. Where the two flatter delivery ends to fall with the corner kick anyway. This has, uh, this has got the elevation, it's also got the header which has carried the ball way over the top from Obasi who uh, scored in the World Under 20 final in Holland against Argentina three years ago and a certain Lionel Messi scored twice in that game well Obasi scored as well in it but his team lost 2-1 he had the confirmation there of the yellow card shown to Vieira flick of the boot sends the ball through and the challenge here will surely uh, give us a free kick against Nigeria but will it be a yellow card it is so they've had one apiece now and it's the third booking that uh, Onye Kachi Apam has had in this tournament three yellow cards the latest for the challenge on Koulibaly really went spinning into the turf on your catchy apamma pat on the head for him but, uh, it was unnecessarily vigorous shall we put it that way and Koulibaly is being helped off the pitch for the moment it will be uh, Cote d'Ivoire's turn to have a free kick in a useful position if only they can utilize that better than Nigeria did just nothing between these teams at all it is like an African Cup of Nations game really as uh, Kone prepares to take well he's going to take a drink first and then he'll take the free kick up comes Bamba tall man Kone with the kick angles it through and the goalkeeper does well there because his vision was obviously obscured he did very well he retained his concentration kept his sighting and fisted it clear we're two minutes away from uh, half time and the chance is here for Nigeria the ball is put through Nigeria lead a lovely goal from Peter Odenwingi played in by Obina in support and uh, something to celebrate here for Nigeria close to the interval Peter Odenwinger the 27 year old who has a World Cup qualifying goal to his name has got a goal in the Olympics it's his first and Nigeria have the advantage just before the break the defense was split the ball was rifled in wide of Angban and it's a perfect time to strike it's a perfect way to strike. Nigeria 1, Cote d'Ivoire 0. Peter Odemwingi. And it's only two minutes before the break. Psychologically, a uh, fine time to score and a uh, bad time to concede for Cote d'Ivoire. But they're good enough to respond. Oh, Nigeria win it back. And they won it legally as well, fair and square. It's a good spell for them, and it's a bad spell for Cote d'Ivoire, who want to get to half-time now. They're making mistakes all of a sudden. Obasi uh, could profit, profit from this one. 
and the keeper grabs the header before it can do any damage the header down for Mokoronkwo so coming up to the whistle for the interval we'll see in a moment how much time to be added probably a minute maybe two it is two Nigeria have the edge it's taken a long time in finding but it is their fifth goal of these Olympic Games two against Japan two against the United States of America and one now against their old and traditional rivals Well, it was a super time to score for the Super Eaglets. Well, the Nigerian supporters are quite vociferous at the moment. Well, they might be. A place alongside Brazil, Belgium, and either Argentina or the Netherlands are waiting and the team in green is on the way at the moment Abassi will hustle here but not get the ball. well he uh, fouled Bamba anyway Suleimani Bamba will take the free kick well, there's Jovino the Brazilian who scored uh, in that 4-2 win against Serbia the last goal in that match well, the first goal in this match has gone to Nigeria. Cote d'Ivoire were just caught out in a lightning raid from Nigeria. As I said before, they do have the armory to hit back. Cote d'Ivoire now with Kalu. Good ball in. Wawa shot. Well held, easily held by Van Zekin. Never looked like beating him, really. Serge Wawa taking from Kalu. The last action it was of the first half. So it's Nigeria who hold the goal. It's Cote d'Ivoire who have all the work to do. And the goal was an excellent one as well, scored by that man, Peter Odenwingi, the one over each player in the Nigerian lineup. Referee says, may I have the ball, please? He gets it back. It's been a very good half. It's uh, been enterprising. It's been effervescent. And we've had a goal. It went to Nigeria. They lead 1-0 at the break. First half, just before half time, from Peter Odenwingi, took his goal well, and then the second half penalty converted by Victor Obina Ensopo has uh, seen Nigeria home and through. Oh, the fans have enjoyed it. They continue to make a din. I think that's the only way to put it. It's what they enjoy. They love the rhythm. They love the style of football that the African nations play. And I'm sure Cote d'Ivoire will wish Nigeria all the best for their remaining matches. One or two remains to be seen. Only two teams can contest the final. But Nigeria, for sure, are going to be contesting a semi-final. The referee will blow the whistle and signal the end of a fine performance from Nigeria. They've been too strong from their fellow Africans, Cote d'Ivoire. A goal in each half was good enough. On a wingy in the first half. And uh, Obina Ensofo in the second scored to end Cote d'Ivoire's dream. They accept the result with good grace. But Nigeria with full value. They have
had strong players everywhere in the side from goalkeeper Venzakin through the centre backs Adele and uh, Onyukachi through the midfield to Odin Wingy there Obina and Sofi and uh, they've resulted in a 2-0 victory over Cote d'Ivoire for Nigeria Odin Wingy on 44 minutes and Sofo with the penalty on 81 2-0 Nigeria those are the statistics of the game which was a good game Cote d'Ivoire contributing uh, to it and so this is the progression of the tournament now then Nigeria and Belgium Brazil waits to see whether it's going to be Argentina or the Netherlands to make up the quartet that continue here in China well it was a noisy raucous occasion that the people of Qing Hangdao really enjoyed Javinho nearly got one back for Cote d'Ivoire and on the shop spot save from Van Zekin but Nigeria somehow always seemed just to have the edge and when that challenge by Suleimani Bamba on uh, on Obasi produced a penalty kick Ensafor put it away and he put Nigeria through into the last four. They've beaten Cote d'Ivoire by two goals to nil.